Hello and welcome. I'm doing a special bonus podcast just for people who are interested in an experience that I had recently. And that experience is being on the Below Deck Bravo TV show as a charter guest. Yes, this is my second time chartering a private yacht and being on Below Deck Mediterranean two years ago and then Below Deck this year. In February, I went with friends to Tahiti and we chartered the yacht. While we were chartering the yacht, we were also filmed for the television show. So that's what this podcast is going to be about. It's all about those experiences, and I'm going to tell you some stories from the trip. So this has absolutely no financial value, and if you're looking for financial tips, it's not on this broadcast. So catch one of my next podcasts. But this one is a special one just about my Below Deck experience. So people ask different questions about what it's like. But first of all, let me just say, I was contacted by the show two years ago and went on Below Deck Mediterranean, had a fabulous time with my girlfriends who are entrepreneurs, and we went to Greece and had a fabulous experience. We've been contacted and invited back every year since. This year, I was invited to Tahiti and we went in February and had a fabulous time. The experience was really over the top. I've done a lot of cruising. I love to cruise. It's one of my favorite things to do and favorite ways to travel. I've done many, many luxury cruise lines, not to brag, but just to let you know that that is something I do all the time. And it is something that when my husband was alive, it was one of our favorite things to do. But there's nothing like a private charter cruise. It's a very different experience because you are basically giving them what it is you love, your favorite foods, what activities you want to do, and they see that you're completely happy. It's unbelievable to be on a yacht like these huge yachts are, and I feel incredibly grateful to have that kind of an experience. This My Sienna yacht was over the top beautiful. It had a lot of gold plating on it, which some people might think is a bit gaudy, but it's also extremely expensive. And so just the money that had been put into that yacht was incredible. And the stern of the yacht had also been remodeled. So that whole area where they have the jet skis and everything was all an extra remodeled area, which I understand also helped to save Ashton Pinar's life when he went overboard because normally the propeller would have been there and he might have been cut by the propeller. But if you haven't watched the show, uh, there was a deckhand right in the episode before ours and he fell overboard. He was actually caught up in a a rope, a line, and it pulled him overboard and he could have drowned. But fortunately, people fought fast and untied the line and freed him and he was able to be rescued. So we came onto the yacht right after there was this big disaster, not knowing that that disaster had just happened. And I think the crew was ready to celebrate, let loose, uh, be uh, very relieved that their fellow crewmen Ashton was okay and that they had all survived this and of course again we had no idea coming on to the yacht what was going on and so we were greeted very warmly by the crew it was really neat to meet Captain Lee and Kate and all of the crew but because I've been a fan of the show for so long it was very very fun to see Captain Lee and Kate and meet them in person and I loved all of the crew. I thought they were all incredibly sweet to us. You know, the fighting that you see that goes on below deck, we don't see any of that. So all that we know is that people are very friendly, they're very nice, and we had, you know, some interaction with some more than others, but uh, everybody was really, really well-behaved and very nice. I get asked what was the food like, and... There is a new chef this season, Adrian, and he was phenomenal. He was absolutely incredible. His food not only tasted good, but it also was a work of art. Each time they would bring out a plate, it was just this amazing sculpture or 
kind of a vertical way he would present the food and then also different colors, textures. He just was very cognizant of presenting food in a beautiful manner as well as it tasting really great. So the food was as good as everyone is raving about and we had absolutely no complaints about any of our meals. So we loved everything. I think I ate every single bite of everything I was served and um, it was very, very enjoyable. The menu actually comes from our preference sheets. So before you go, you get to fill out your preference sheet of what you like, what you don't like, if you're allergic to anything, if you have any special foods that you have to have, you can't live without, what your favorite drinks are, uh, non-alcoholic beverages, alcoholic beverages, just everything that you like, they make sure and have. And so they look at all the menus and then Adrian comes up with what he thinks that you would like. So you can say things like, you know, I really enjoy seafood. I like filet mignon. And it's up to him to look at everybody's preference sheet and then try to create some meals that would please just about everybody. And sometimes he ends up making special dinners for people who are gluten-free or who have other special allergies or eating needs. But most of the time he, he made the same thing for all of us. And there were people in our group that were not crazy about seafood and we did have quite a bit of seafood, but they were okay eating it. They didn't tell him that they hated it. They, it just wasn't their favor. They preferred meat over seafood, but we did have quite a bit of seafood, which was great for me. That's my favorite. So I really enjoyed that. People ask, you know, what's Captain Lee really like? Uh, I have to say it was really amazing to be able to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with him. A couple of us got to have cocktails with him for about an hour and a half before dinner. And so we got to really get to know him, hear his stories, ask him questions about his career and his family. And that was really enjoyable to me, just to sit and chat with Captain Lee and have you know a glass of wine and hear what he had to say. And then we all went into dinner and he joined us for dinner. And again, we were listening to his stories and to some fun conversation. I don't know why the show didn't show any of that conversation. Like they barely had us saying anything. So I'm not sure why they choose certain things over another, but there were some funny things that happened that didn't make it onto the show. There was a point in time where we were talking with Captain Lee and we were talking about yachting. There were a couple of yacht owners with us. They were, you know, comparing notes about yachting. They were talking about golf and celebrity pro-am golf. And at one point there was something, and I, I wish I could remember what it was, but there was some reason that I said to Captain Lee, well, Captain Lee, that's because you're the stud of the sea, which of course is his tagline on the show. And because I've seen every Below Deck show, of course, I knew that. And so I had to tease him a little bit and tell him, you know, that it was because he was the stud of the sea. So I looked away and I looked back at Captain Lee and his face was bright red. And I said, look, everybody, Captain Lee's blushing. And then I looked back a minute later and he had put his linen napkin over his head to hide his red face. So I thought that was definitely going to be on the show, but it didn't make it. It was cut out. So I don't know. I, I think maybe because the set of the sea is from the TV show, they try and keep some of the TV pieces off of the charter so that it's like, you don't really know that it's a TV show, but we all know it's a TV show. I don't know. It, it's too bad it didn't make it because I thought it was hysterical and I thought that the audience would love to see Captain Lee have this napkin over his head. It was pretty funny. Another thing I was asked is, did you hear anything? Did you hear anyone arguing? I personally did not hear any of the staff arguing, but one of my friends did hear an argument going on below deck. So they did pick up that people were yelling and screaming and having an argument. Uh, we didn't have any service problems except that one night we went to take a shower before dinner and we didn't have any towels in our room. So when we told Kate, uh, I think she got on Laura's case about that. <laughs> so again, they didn't show that on the show, but uh, we did have a little problem with not having towels in our room one night. People have also asked, how are Kate's drinks? 
is she a good drink maker? And I have to say, her drinks are very, very strong. And yes, she's a good bartender. Uh, the people we were with tended to help themselves quite a bit to their own drinking. And Kate really wanted to, you know, have them ask her for service. And so, you know, there was a, a bit of back and forth about that. But Kate is uh, spectacular at her job. She was very professional. Josiah was also extremely professional and around us, you know, the two of them were really serving us most of the time. So the way that they acted and just asked questions and served us really was five-star service. So I have to say they did a great job. People also ask, is the show real or is it scripted? The show is 100% real. The producers of the show have basically just said, you know, we want to create an amazing trip for you. Just, you know, have a good time. Don't worry about the camera. Don't think about it. Uh, just enjoy yourself. And that's what we did. So no, it's definitely not scripted. We did the things we wanted to do. Uh, you know, sometimes you are more aware that you are definitely on camera. So did I want to go down the slide and get my hair all wet, my makeup all smeared and have to go and get ready again for dinner? No. <laughs> and we were criticized for not wanting to go down the slide, but it really was just a matter of not wanting to have to, you know, go and get ready and all of that. Plus, you know, it's kind of nerve wracking to be seen in your bathing suit on television. Okay. It's, I don't know about men, but for women, that's kind of a nerve wracking thing. So I have to say, I was not anxious to be seen in my bathing suit on television. That's the truth. And, you know, what can I say? <laughs> As far as some other cool moments, I would say definitely going up to the wheelhouse and sitting with Captain Lee was incredibly surreal. So <laughs> the morning after dinner, uh, we went into the wheelhouse and he was sitting in his captain's chair steering the yacht. We were heading back in and we were just looking out the window, looking over the bow and it just was really surreal to have Captain Lee there and we were up in the bridge. It was really one of those you had to pinch yourself moments because again, I've been a fan of the show, a fan of Captain Lee, and it was just something like, I can't believe I'm standing here in the bridge of a yacht next to Captain Lee. So that was really fun. And there was a private plane that was flying overhead of us in Tahiti and they kept circling around us, checking out the yacht. It was very interesting. And, uh, but most of the time in Tahiti, it impressed me because it was very natural. There were very few homes that we saw in Tahiti. If there were homes, it was along the water's edge and there were no homes really built up the side of the hill. So you just had one row of homes along the water and other than that, it was really untouched and very beautiful, very picturesque, postcard-like. Uh, it was amazing to see the scenery. And because it's part of French Polynesia, you know, they speak French. And I didn't really realize the whole French angle to Tahiti before I went there. So it just had this very French flavor to the cities that we went to and the show had chosen where our itinerary was that we would be going on the yacht. And we went to a small island called Tahiti Edi. So uh, that was our ultimate destination was Tahiti Edi. And uh, I went on the jet skis and just went out and toured around for a while. And the funny thing was they said, watch out for coconuts. Don't run over coconuts with your jet ski. And I thought that was pretty hilarious that you know, coconuts are floating around and you have to be careful not to run over them. So all in all, we had a fabulous trip and everybody was super nice to us. We really enjoyed ourselves and it was something that was a very special memory, something I'll always remember. And we had just a fabulous, fabulous first class time and vacation. And um, so Thanks to Kate and Captain Lee and Josiah and the whole crew. Uh, yes, Laura too. I loved Laura. I thought she was very sweet. She was very, very nice to me. 
all of the crew were very nice. And so uh, I don't have any complaints. They were all extremely professional and very, very nice to all of us. So we didn't see any of what you saw on the television show. We didn't, you know, other than my friend hearing some of the fighting, we didn't see them act in that way. We didn't see any, you know, we didn't certainly see anyone have an obvious crush on anyone else. We didn't see any any inappropriate behavior. We didn't see any of that. We saw only professionalism and really a, a service attitude that was really first class. So I was shocked when I saw the show and, again, saw what they chose to edit and what they chose to show. And, you know, it is what it is. And... Um, I'm just happy that we had a fabulous trip and had the opportunity. So I feel really, really grateful and look forward to watching each episode until the end of this season. So anyway, those were my experiences and I thought I'd share them with you and give you a little bit of the behind the scenes scoop. So thanks for listening. And if you wanna see some of the pictures that I took on my trip, I did make a blog post about this. You can go to lindapjones.com forward slash below deck and you can see my blog post and all the photos. All right, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk with you later. Bye-bye.